Nearly three years after his scandal, former NCT and WAVE member Lucas has yet to return to his career as an idol. However, based on recent hints that have been dropped, it seems like his solo debut will finally happen this year and we can't wait for it, especially knowing his latest public appearance. In August 2021, one of the biggest scandals in the K-pop industry surfaced in South Korea and China, and it included none other than WAVE's former member Lucas. Four alleged ex-girlfriends accused him of gaslighting, financial exploitation, and cheating. Despite speculation, that he had also harmed them and touched them without their consent, the original statements from the alleged victims didn't mention anything about it. In light of such serious accusations, fans sought clarity from SM Entertainment, asking the company to deny everything and take legal action because accusations like this had the potential to ruin his reputation and career. However, instead of addressing the concerns or thoroughly investigating everything, SM issued an apology, which made Lucas seem guilty without giving him a chance to explain his side. Lucas was also made to apologize and afterward, he went on hiatus without any clear information on the scandal. Fans fought very hard to find the evidence to clear his name, but Lucas remained in hiding and SM kept silent about everything. Nobody knew what had happened to him until later on. There were no updates from him or mentions of his whereabouts, and fans didn't even know whether he was still in the group or not. SM wasn't helpful whatsoever, as they carried on with everything as if Lucas hadn't even existed. Then, on February 9th, 2022, fans received a long-awaited update from him as he made a post on Instagram for the first time since his handwritten apology. However, it wasn't a personal update or a picture of himself, but a black and white photo of what appeared to be a sunset, posted without a caption. It didn't say anything about how he was doing, but it was still enough to put fans at ease. Despite some netizens being appalled by his return to social media, the picture garnered 4 million likes in a record time, indicating that the majority of people were begging to have him back and wanted even more from him. Thankfully, this would only be the beginning as Lucas would become more active on social media. He wasn't sharing any of his pictures or anything personal, but it was still a lot better than nothing. But even though fans were happy to see him return, they still didn't have any explanation for what had happened and Lucas's status as an SM artist and NCT member. A year after coming back to Instagram, SM Entertainment CEO Chris Lee shocked everyone by posting a picture with Lucas, in which they looked very close. If this wasn't exciting enough, producer-songwriter Ryan J. Hoon expressed his enthusiasm by commenting with a bunch of fire emojis. About an hour later, Lucas posted a dance practice video on Instagram, and Lee sung Soo responded with fire emojis as well. Despite their silence on everything, this made it clear that Lucas would be probably joining his fellow members sooner rather than later. At that time, it was unclear if he would return with NCT, Wavy, Super M, or as a solo artist. What mattered was that, despite no official statement from SM, fans would be seeing Lucas return as an idol. Then, on May 10th of last year, SM announced that Lucas would be leaving NCT and Wavy, which came as a shock to everyone. Of course, the scandal had been big enough to affect his reputation in Korea and China, but all the signs were pointing towards him coming back to the group to resume activities like normal, so for the company to come out of nowhere and announce that he would be leaving both groups left everybody dazed and confused. What would happen to him now? Well, in the same statement, SM said, Lucas is planning on showing his performances through a wide variety of individual works from now on, which meant that he would start a solo career very soon. Following the announcement, Lucas shared a handwritten letter on his social media where he expressed apologies to the members and conveyed gratitude for the friendship built over nearly eight years. He acknowledged the time it took to make the hard decision of leaving, stating it was for the greater good. Looking ahead, he mentioned facing his waiting fans and pursuing individual individual endeavors, promising to deliver outstanding performances. From then on, it was obvious that SM had something in store for him. After that, on June 7th, Lucas officially joined Bubble so he could communicate more easily with fans, a decision which was more than welcomed. Unfortunately, no matter how hard fans had worked to clear his name, there were a lot of people who still believed that he was guilty of everything he had been accused of, whether there was proof of it or not. Now that he was potentially going to debut as a soloist, people still kept going back to the fact that SM had never actually said that Lucas was innocent, nor was there anyone sued for what they had done. However, if you have been a fan of any SM group at any point, you would know that the company is incompetent in dealing with stuff like this. Most of the time, they put the artist on hiatus and wait for the thing to blow over. From that point forward, it really comes down to how much the company values the artist. If they appreciate and want to keep the artist despite everything, they bring them back as if nothing happened sometime later. On the other hand, if the company finds the problems too challenging to handle, they might wait until the artist's contract expires 
expires and quietly let them go. They never deal with their problems like a serious company. When it comes to SM, it seems like they are more prone to pretending the problems don't exist. Knowing that they have been doing this for a while, it doesn't make sense for everyone to hold their incompetence against Lucas. He couldn't defend himself as the label had probably instructed him to stay silent. On the other hand, the company wasn't doing anything to clear his name, so there was nothing he could do. Why is this taken as a sign that he's guilty? International fans have even tried to get SM to file a lawsuit, even though it's been years since the scandal happened. In July of 2023, two months after it was announced that Lucas was no longer a member of NCT and Way-V, they sent trucks in front of SM's building to demand better treatment for him. Their requests said, address all unfounded rumors and ensure Lucas's safety both mentally and physically. A management company that cannot protect their artist has no value, asking the company to do their job and take legal action against his accusers. But because a lot of people still believe that he's at fault, SM has been taking a slow approach to pushing him as a soloist. Back in August of last year, Lucas told fans that the next time they would meet, he would be debuting for the fourth time, but we haven't gotten anything since then. SM hasn't said anything about him debuting, neither has Lucas, and he wasn't included in the company's plans for this year. Plans can change, and because Lucas remains one of their most sought-after artists, it would be stupid to miss out on banking his popularity. Due to recent sightings and activities, though, it's believed that SM has been gradually reintroducing him to the public, likely to re-familiarize everyone with him, and their strategy apparently involves having him interact publicly with his fellow label mates. Everyone was aware that Lucas hadn't cut contact with the NCT or the Super M members when he was on hiatus. The Way V members talked about him multiple times, even hinting at a comeback with all the members. There was even a leaked picture of him and Kai, which tells us that he's still friends with the Super M members as well, despite their rare comebacks and schedules. It's heartwarming to see that even after leaving his respective groups, Lucas and his former colleagues showed a lot of support for each other. Lucas has expressed his love for NCT by encouraging fans on Bubble to support Baggy Jeans when it came out. He also commented on Tamin's live stream, wishing him a happy birthday, and was spotted at his concert, despite not making it a big deal. His most recent sighting was at Key's solo concert, sitting next to Tamin, Minho, and Taeyeon. Even though he was wearing a mask, it wasn't hard to spot him sitting in the audience as he waved and greeted fans. Key gave him a shout out as soon as he found out that he was in the audience, and Tamin and Taeyeon immediately pointed at Lucas as soon as his name was mentioned. It was a very cute, heartwarming moment that just showed that despite what people believed, Lucas still had support in and out of the company. While this may just mean that he went there to support his label mates, this could be SM's way of soft launching him. They have been teasing his solo debut since last year, with no sign or update on it happening, so maybe 2024 is the year we finally get to see it. SM's plans change all the time, and they have been looking for an artist that they can promote to Western audiences, so this may be their plan for Lucas. After the scandal, his biggest fan base is internationally, and if SM are smart about the way they market him, they might jumpstart a legendary career with his debut. It's either that, or they might wait for Kai to come back so he can have his grand comeback with Super M instead of doing it alone. Considering the backlash he faced, going solo might be daunting for Lucas, since he would be dealing with the expected negativity all alone. On the other hand, if he returned with Super M, he'd have his members supporting him throughout. Technically, he hasn't officially left the group, and there's been no announcement from SM about a lineup change. So maybe this is their plan, but as long as Lucas feels supported and secure, nothing else matters.